you can make the million bucks the fastest if you just do the thing you want to do and cast the vision that really excites you and all the people and all the capital just rush to support you because we have a scarcity on people who are actually doing what they want to do and building the businesses that matter and create value in the world. And the minute you can think from that place, you get rich. So in 1900, if you wanted to be a millionaire, it took like your whole life. In 1950, it took most of your life. 1970, 80, took at least 10 years. And today, people become millionaires within, I mean, it seems like a few hours or a few weeks if they just buy the right thing. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you one way to become a millionaire literally overnight, like in six minutes. Like you can happen right now. Like after you watch this video, you can do it and you become a millionaire. I know that sounds hypey, but I actually taught it on a coaching call today. I'm gonna to share it with you in this video. I run a fund called the Capitalism Fund, and I invest in the students that come through my Capitalism Incubator or come through our community here at capitalism.com. And if you're not familiar with my work, I help entrepreneurs build seven-figure businesses by following a very simple mathematical formula. It's third grade math, and it looks like this. If you have four products that sell 25 sales a day, that's 100 sales a day. And if you sell those products at an average price point of $30, that's $3,000 a day or just over a million dollars a year. We help our students go through that formula to build million dollar businesses. And I have a fund that invests in some of our students who have exciting ideas or clear visions for the businesses that they want to build. And a few weeks ago, I was speaking with someone that we were considering investing in. And this young woman built a really cool company. She had a few products that were selling consistently and she had the vision for what she wanted to do with this brand. And I love what she wants to do. Her products are really good. Her branding is on point and she has a very clear audience for who she is launching products to. And we're investing in her business. Hopefully the deal is not done as of the recording of this video, but we're hopefully investing in her business at over a million dollar valuation. So if we were to buy 10%, that means that we owe her a few hundred thousand dollars or over a hundred thousand dollars. And so this business is valued at over a million dollars, even though she has a million dollars in the bank right now. You still with me? Because this is what I said to her at the end of one of our phone calls. I said, hey, I don't know if you've ever been a millionaire before, but as soon as this deal is done, you're a millionaire, at least on paper. And if you look at the numbers, since she's still going to own the vast majority of this business after she sells some of the shares to us, and that business is valued at over a million dollars, it means that the shares and the equity that she has in that business is worth over a million dollars, which makes her a millionaire as soon as the deal is done. The interesting thing about this is that there's no valuation on the shares until the deal is done. But the minute that we sign the deal, she is now a millionaire. I'm telling you this story because our valuation on this business is made up. It's just an agreement between two parties. And that's the case with all business valuations and even the valuations of things like Bitcoin and the stock market. There is no magic voodoo out in the world determining what things are worth. It is simply what other people are willing to pay for it. So one of the things that I shared with one of our students inside of the Capitalism Incubator just this morning was I noticed the mindset that someone was approaching their business with. And he said, I realize now that I'm like, I'm just looking for the quick million bucks. Like I'm just trying, I'm taking shortcuts. I need to hunker down and do the hard work. And he was right, but I told him that there's also a way that he could immediately become a millionaire. He could raise $100,000 or $250,000 at a $1.5 million valuation on his business, therefore giving him a million dollars worth of equity in his business. Millionaire overnight. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, well, that's not real money. That's not real wealth because it's all on paper. But that's actually how all wealth is. The house that I'm sitting in right now has a value to it, but it's not really there until I sell it to somebody else. Elon Musk is worth $400 billion, but he's not worth that until he sells his stock to other people. And you know what would happen if he sold his stock to everybody else? The price would come crashing down. 
So we make up these numbers about what a millionaire is or how much something is worth based on what we think somebody else will pay for it in US dollars. And that includes Bitcoin as well. So you can literally become a millionaire instantly by valuing your company at a certain valuation as long as somebody else is actually willing to pay that amount to buy shares in the company. I'm sharing all of this with you because one of the primary lessons that we teach our students inside the incubator is that if you're going to build a seven figure business, if you're going to have an eight figure exit, you have to start thinking about building the value of your business right now. You have to start positioning your business and thinking about your business and making decisions about your business as if you are already building an eight figure company. For example, one of the exercises that we lead people through is to put together a pitch deck, a vision, and an advisory board for the business that doesn't even exist yet. So if you've got a business that you wanna build, write it out on paper what that vision is going to be, and then start going out to your network and asking people if they'd like to be involved in this project. That means influencers who might shout out your brand. It means raving fans who can come and give you feedback it's that person you know with a blog or that person who's built a million dollar business in the past. And if you get them to agree to be part of the advisory board, even if they're not part of the business, that solidifies the vision and allows an entrepreneur to go value their business at a million bucks or more. And I mean that in like real US dollars. Go out to an investor and say, I want to raise $100,000 at a million dollar valuation. And the reason why it's worth that is because of this vision and this advisory team that I've put together that is in alignment with the business that I'm going to build that will eventually have an eight figure exit. The faster you can think about building a vision, the faster you can think about building the actual value of the business rather than the money in the bank, the faster the money in the bank shows up. So if you can think about building a long-term vision and who you're going to help and who is going to be involved, you could theoretically raise money that makes you a millionaire in six minutes from now. You could call a few people and raise $50,000 for your multi-million dollar vision and you are now a millionaire at least on paper. So my encouragement to you is if you're going on this journey and you're thinking about how you want to build the million dollar business, first of all, it's just basic math, four products, 25 sales a day at a $30 price point. But as soon as you know that, the real thought goes into how do I create as value an empire, as value an asset as possible. And you can go raise capital or bring on partnerships that make that valuation go up much faster than you just trying to get to a million dollar run rate. So how do you go about building a business that's worth a million dollars or more? How do you justify a valuation when you go out to raise money from investors or sell a business to somebody else? Well, what we teach is a process called the owner's model. And the owner's model is simply freeing up the founder, that's you, to cast a vision that is truly exciting to you and would be exciting for your customers and other people to be involved in. See, a lot of entrepreneurs will get really stressed and hung up on this idea of having the right business, the ideal business, doing what everybody else says is the right thing to do. If your goal is to make a million bucks, you can work your tail off and save and invest, or you can wait for the right crypto to launch and you have perfect timing, or you can simply tap into what it is that you truly wanna to bring to this world and launch a vision from that place. It's my personal belief that we are entering into a time of true abundance. Capital is everywhere. You can access anyone in the world pretty much at any time. And the more time that we spend thinking about how we're going to get the million bucks, the less time we're thinking about how we create something that's exciting enough to attract a multi-million dollar valuation. You will make a million dollars so much faster if you start thinking about what vision you want to create, what customers you want to serve, and what people you want to partner with. And it just so happens that we have so much capital in the system right now that if you have a vision that excites you and you have the right team of people that are supporting that vision, you can go raise money in six minutes to have a multi-million dollar business and give you all the capital that you need to go build that really awesome team that executes your vision and frees you up to stay in visionary seat or what we call the owner's seat. In the owner's seat, your job is to simply maintain the vision. 
vision and go create partnerships so that other people are building that vision that came from you. That's a creative place. That's a place where you as an entrepreneur get to create whatever you want. And you don't have to think about all of the hard shit that you don't want to do. And you don't have to follow all of these people who are telling you about this tactic and this tactic and this fast wait a million bucks. I mean, you clicked on a video that was about making a million bucks in an hour. I mean, that's YouTube today. That's all the douchebag YouTubers like me that get the clicks that are teaching about business. They're talking about all the fast things that you can do, but you can make the million bucks the fastest if you just do the thing you want to do and cast the vision that really excites you and all the people and all the capital just rush to support you because we have a scarcity on people who are actually doing what they want to do and building the businesses that matter and create value in the world. And the minute you can think from that place, you get rich. So go do that. The steps for that would be take a weekend when you feel really jazz and go write a two page vision about what you want to create in this world. Watch any of my videos about why focusing on a person rather than a product will help you make the million bucks way faster. Build your vision around who you want to help and write out that vision. Then go talk to people about it. Ask for their advice on it. Go see what it would take to make that happen. Go brainstorm the products that you want to put in that vision and go look at what other people are doing in that space. The vision and the clarity that you'll have out of that will come so fast and it won't matter what all competitors are doing, what other people are charging. It will matter that you're creating value for a specific group of people in this world. And I bet that the people that you talk to will be like, I know this person who can help with this. And I know this person who would probably invest in something like this. And doors will just start to open up for you. If you need help with that, we have courses and trainings and podcasts and YouTube videos and all kinds of stuff. Then it's all pretty much free. Or you can work with us directly in one of our programs. I don't care. What I want is for you to do the business that actually matters to you. So here's your assignment. In the damn comments, I want you to give me a two sentence summary of the business that you really want. Not the one that you think is a billion dollar idea. Not the one you think is gonna make you rich. The one you actually want to do. The one that you're like, oh, I wanna make a million bucks so that then I can do this. What is that? Do you know what it is? And if you don't know what it is, that's okay too. Put in the comments two sentences about what you would do if you already had the million bucks. Because I promise you, if you build the business around that, the million bucks shows up real damn fast. All right, I'm done. And subscribe to the channel, would you? Damn it. You're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed.